My name is Miriam Sloan with the Runner's Mechanic Physical Therapy Clinic, and today I want to talk to you about Achilles pain. Um, sometimes the tendon of the Achilles can start to become red and inflamed um, when it's been overloaded for certain reasons. So I want to give you a couple things to do in those first couple days if you start experiencing Achilles pain. This is specifically for Achilles pain that seems to be in the middle of the Achilles tendon. So if you run your fingers up and down the tendon, it's right in the middle. It might be a little bit swollen or red right on a little lump there. Okay. In the very beginning stages, inflammation can definitely be a big part of it. So I want to show you some ways to dampen some of that inflammation and try not to let it become a bigger problem in your running. Okay. Um, so one thing that you can do that has a little bit of research behind it is you can start to put a heel lift in your everyday shoes. Okay. So this is by power step. It's adjustable. So you can peel away some of the layers if you don't want it quite as high. Um, but you can put a little heel lift in your everyday shoe if that makes your Achilles feels better, okay? So if you put it in, you walk around, um, you're like, okay, that definitely gives it a little bit of relief. Um, try that for about a week in your everyday shoes while you walk around, okay? It's also very important um, that you look at your everyday shoes and any shoes that have an angle that cuts into that part of the Achilles that bothers it. So say you put a shoe on and you're like, oh, it definitely feels a little irritating. Just get rid of that shoe for the time that you're having your Achilles pain. You can just keep it in your closet. You don't need to throw it away. But the less mechanical irritation that you can have on that Achilles tendon during your normal everyday waking hours, the better off you'll be, okay? So any shoe that has an angled heel counter that seems to rub right on that Achilles, that, that irritate part of the Achilles, try to get rid of that. And, and uh, sometimes we'll like to wear slides, okay, that are open back or very open or, or wide back shoes. So that's a really important part. So mechanically, if it feels irritating, just don't wear that shoe anymore, okay, until you feel better. Um, and then the last thing is uh, CEP makes a compression sock. Um, they make it in a sock form. They also make it in kind of a brace that doesn't have the toes, so you can put it over a sock if you want or if you want to have your toes exposed. Um, but what's particular about this Achilles sock that CEP makes is if you turn it inside out, it has these little silicon channels, okay? The Achilles lies right in the middle of that channel. Um, and there's actually some good research. And anecdotally, I have a lot of clients that actually feel a lot better when they have this on. And it will milk that Achilles tendon as you walk to help with some of that inflammation. Okay, so that's the CEP uh, Achilles brace, all right? And again, it comes in an open toe um, uh, sock and also a closed toe sock, okay? And they have instructions on how to measure for your foot, okay? Um, and the last thing um, we know from Tome, if you're running, if you're not experiencing pain that's more than, say, zero being no pain and 10 being the worst, and your pain levels consistently are about a two, two or three when you run, and then you stop running and it feels a little bit better, and it's not getting more inflamed with that, we can keep with your running. Um, the big thing is that you don't do um, speed work when it's inflamed. You don't do aggressive heel work when it's inflamed, so running up inclines because um, obviously they'll stress the Achilles a little bit more. So while it's currently inflamed in those early weeks, do you try to keep to comfortable running? Usually that's on slightly level or rolling terrain. And sometimes the shoes that you wear can matter. So um, obviously this is not a minimalist shoe, but it's definitely more flexible. I'm able to kind of bend it and twist it. Um, there is uh, a little bit of energy transfer. So if you wear a shoe that's super flexible, you will be able to use your Achilles more. Um, sometimes people like a slightly stiffer shoe, okay? So if you have a shoe in your, in your rotation that's a little stiffer, you may feel running is a little bit better on your Achilles than the stiffer shoe, okay? But you can go by feel with that. That's just a suggestion. Um, sometimes people feel a little better when they have a shoe that's not completely um, flat in the beginning. They've, sometimes they feel like the shoe that has a little bit of drop to it feels a little better on their Achilles. Um, it just depends on what kind of runner you are. So that's not always the case, but that's just a rule of thumb, okay? So um, those are some nice things to kind of keep in your head of tricks when you start to first have Achilles pain that looks inflamed, all right? If you have any questions, reach out to me, um, runnersmechanic at gmail.com, or you can go to my website, uh, therunnersmechanic.com. All right, thank you. Bye.